All right, so in this video, we're going to be going over how you can add expansion packs in the Scrap Factory program in version 2.0. All right, so first, um, we need to actually go to the Add Expansion Packs page. Okay, so all the expansion pack uh, adding anyway can happen right here uh, over on this side here. And what you will get when you purchase something from Scrappy Do is that you'll get a file. And this file here is for the Little Big Heads expansion pack. And when you download it from Scrappy Do, it will be in a zip format. So you're going to have to extract it. You can either double click it if you're on a Mac, or if you're on Windows, all you have to do is right click and hit extract. Okay, and that, that should open up and reveal this folder to you. And inside that folder, there's two items that you'll see here. We have a folder and we have an actual PDF. Now the PDF actually provides you instructions on how to actually add the expansion pack. So you can double click that right there. And you know, if you scroll all the way to the top, it tells you, hey, go to the add expansion packs, just like we did uh, before. And then down here, it says enter the code where it has, uh, has that little area for us. So let's go and try to see what that looks like over here, okay? So you're, you're looking over here and uh, you don't see that little place where you can actually add the code manually. Well, there's a little check mark now that you can click and that box now appears. So you'll go ahead and scroll down a little further and you get the little expansion pack key and you can copy that. And then you can come over here and you can paste it. And then once you have it entered in there, you can go ahead and hit load expansion pack and you'll get a little message saying that it has been loaded. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that so uh, you can see the alternative way to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that pack and I'm gonna go ahead and go with the other method. So I'm gonna close out of that and let's go back into the scrappy uh, do download that you got. So we didn't talk about what's inside this folder here. So you can actually uh, open that folder and inside here is just a txt file. It's a text file. I mean, you can even double click and open it and see what's inside. And it's that exact same code that we plugged in here. But what's great about this file is uh, you can uh, take this and you can drag and drop it over into this area over here and it will load it that way. Okay. So that's another way. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove it because there's one more way that we can do this as well. So uh, you'll notice that there's a button right here. It says open file. Uh, you can just load that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click open file. All you have to do is uh, we basically navigated to the drop and draggable code and we can select that file and just hit open. And it does the exact same thing. It says the key is accepted and it will now be in your library. So those are the multiple ways that you can actually add expansion packs with a Scrap Factory program version 2.0. Thanks for watching.